Hi loves and welcome to the channel. I'm Erica, a psychic medium, oracle, and prophetess. I hope that everyone is doing amazing at this time. Hope this message finds you guys well. You've seen the title so you know why you're here. This is a energy PSA update um, of Divine Masculine Energies Releasing Control. Okay, and it's coming through like so strongly today. I have so many messages flooding through, so many feelings, energies, insights, whatever, visions. I had crazy um, like dreams last night with certain uh, messages within them that I will be also recording and channeling for you guys um, in regards to different things. But there's also like a big um, message of um, a soulmate energy coming through as well. Um, but it's more of a specific message. So I'll get into that later. But right now we are connecting to the um, divine masculine and the divine feminine um, divine union energies. Okay, so um, there is a, it feels forceful type energy. Um, but the masculines are, the masculine energies are really feeling right now of really, of relinquishing control. It's literally like Jesus take the will. I give up. Like it's not so much. I give up. It's just like, I, 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 I give up control. I give up trying to control everything, trying to be in control of everything in my life, my heart, my feelings. Um, there's an, there's a message here of the more that they try, they're, they're seeing this though. It's a truth that they're seeing. The more that they try to control or have controlled, the more out of control things have spun. It's like a car spinning out of control, right? Like, um, if you guys have ever been driving and you have hit, like it's the roads are wet and you've hydroplaned, right? It's kind of like, like that is kind of like what I'm seeing. And it's like, like trying to like hold this control. But in reality, it's kind of like, if you just kind of like ease off the brake or something, it kind of, you know what I mean? So there's something here where, and speaking of breaks, I'm getting like taking a break, a separation. We need a break. So for some divine masculines who might be in karmic third parties, I feel that there's like truths coming out of like, there's truths coming out that they haven't maybe been able to say or have lacked the strength to say. Um, but there's like this divine timing around breaking free, around breaking up, around breaking the cycle, breaking the wheel, breaking the pattern, stopping the loop. Um, this full moon coming up too, I feel plays kind of a big part. I believe it's, it's the snow moon that we have in a few days. And, you know, the snow moon has different, you know, meanings, but for me, it's like the snow, the snow is white. The snow is pure. It speaks of purification or purity, like sovereignty. It's just that white, beautiful, right? Like that's why what I'm kind of getting, it's like a purity energy. So I do feel that there's this like a need to cleanse and purify their life right now. It feels like clutter. It feels like you know, like they've been hoarding a whole bunch of stuff, right? Energetically, relationships, maybe they're literally feeling the call to, um, to clean their homes, to, to give stuff away, to declutter, to, there's something about like, they're really feeling like the energy and the heaviness and all of this stuff. And it's, 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 it's for me making them feel like this, um, very, uh, on edge, irritable kind of vibe, right? Like, um, it's very pop off. Like, you know, let's say they have like, um, someone close to them, you know, say something and it kind of just triggers them. It's like a, a gasket gets blown. It's kind of like that. Okay. So yeah, I feel like maybe there's a lot of anger here too. All right. So I don't know. Let's see what this, what the cards have to say with the universe says. I feel that there's a lot of, with the releasing control, there's a lot of pent up, suppressed, like, right? Negative emotions, anger, resentments that they've been holding in, um, maybe within their own selves, their lives, people around them, uh, karmic partners, and also like their life in general, I feel is kind of like they're surrendering more to this release of control and it feels like a breath of fresh air. It's divinely guided. It's by the higher self. The soul is, um, 
they're connected to that, listening to that. There's also massive heart chakra purging and activating, okay? So they're clearing a lot of old heart trauma, heart pain, emotional stuff that, you know, has kept their heart, you know, blocked in many ways. Um, but the, the higher heart is activated and um, as it activates more and more and more and clears and purges, they are releasing um, the things that they, the false distortions that they associated at, with love, right? Um, like a lot of times in karmic partnerships, there's a lot of jealousy or insecurity or neediness, codependency, that kind of stuff, right? And people will associate that to love. Well, if I didn't love you so much, you know, I wouldn't be possessive or I wouldn't be jealous or, you know, I wouldn't have these feelings of insecurity. You know, it's only because I love you so much or it's only because this, that, or the other, which is totally wrong. It's false. <laughs> that is not love at all. That is codependency and karmic stuff, right? Um, as far as, you know, real true love goes. Um, because real true love doesn't carry jealousy and, you know, boastfulness and insecurity and um, resentfulness and, you know, condemnation and judging and all these things, right? So anyways, so as they release that need that they've been, you know, holding on to where, you know, they have felt insecure or they have felt, you know, um, very codependent on toxic situations in their life. They're, the more their heart opens, the more that that stuff is falling away because it's the ego falling away. So Divine Masculine is releasing control, many of them. They are being guided to release the burdens, you see? It's the end of something here. Seven of Swords, there's that deceptive energy, okay? It's also, for me, someone figuring out how they've been deceiving themselves, seeing how they've been deceiving themselves in their own life. You know, it's like no more blame shifting, no more. It's like, yeah, I see. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm the magician. I'm the one in charge of my life. Look at 1010. You can't make this up. Tell me this is not confirmation of releasing control releasing the burdens, everything you've been carrying around. You have the 10 of swords. This is completion. It's an ending. Something is, is ending. They're releasing control of the, comfort zones of the false connections. And when I say false connections, I mean like karmic soulmates, you know, and it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's for a season and a reason. It plays a role in all of our lives when we have, you know, karmic partners, soulmates, things like that, right? But it's almost like if they do have a third party or karmic partnership, they're seeing this in a huge way of, this is something I should have released a long time ago. I should have laid these 10 wands down a long time ago. Why am I still carrying this around? Why am I trying to forcefully make this work fit? You know, why, why does it feel like such a struggle all the time and so heavy all the time, right? So again, getting more into that heart space, being in the heart space is really helping them release that control. There's also a lot of like, um, root chakra. Okay. A lot of root chakra healing and purging going on. Um, deeply rooted fears, things that have kept them blocked, stuck, you know, the whole chakra system is obviously activated and, and there's a lot going on, but there's specific stuff that I'm feeling from this. Six of pentacles. They don't want to give to something on their end anymore. They don't want to give to it. It feels like, yeah, the end of the road, but it feels there's just, there's no equal give and take. It's very unbalanced. And the more that we awaken, the more that we see through the illusions and the unbalanced energies and, you know, the universe is all about balance as like the justice scales, right? So we're always like balancing, you know, we're, we're, we're creating karma, dharma, we're balancing, we're right. It's all the things. So 
All I'm getting from this is I don't want to give to whatever I've been giving to. They want to give to, they want to give somewhere else. Queen of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. They see you as the Queen of Pentacles for sure. This perfect partner, someone very grounded, very down to earth, very, you know, just a, more of a chill energy. You know, it's a relaxed type energy, a love energy. You know, she's, she's all the things. I love the Queen of Pentacles. Um... I'm hearing looking for love in all the wrong places. This is them realizing that what they have been entertaining or a part of it is it has been looking for love in all the wrong places. They've been looking for love outside of themselves. Wanting someone else to feel the, the holes, the void, the whatever you want to call it. Staying with people or in situations because of, you know, material things, money and, you know, mortgages, bills, rent, whatever it is. You know, maybe someone's financially dependent upon them or vice versa, you know, I don't know. But, and then look at the Queen of Cups. I think this is them no longer wanting to give to either a, a long-term partner, a wife, or, um... For some of them, this is connected to a mother. Like, it's almost like I don't care. Like, it could be like a very controlling mother or a judgmental mother or parent, but specifically I'm getting a mother. Okay, like a lot of men, they really value their, their, their relation. Like, they value what their mom thinks, their mother thinks. You know, if mom approves it, then it's all good. If mom doesn't approve it, then I don't know, right? This is going to be specific. I think for some of them out there, the masculine, they are having conversations maybe with a mother about their life, about unhappiness, about, you know, how they just feel like maybe things are out of control, out of balance, you know, maybe kind of what they want to do, how they're releasing control. And I feel, you know, that for, you know, some of them that they, they are, they're getting some advice um, that is actually good advice, like from, from you know, someone who cares, like it's not coming from like an ego standpoint. It's more like you have to do what you feel is right in your heart. You have to do what makes you happy. Um, you know, it's okay to let go is kind of what I'm hearing. Like someone say to the masculine, and this would be someone that they look up to. Like I said, it could be their mother. It could be a father. It could be a sibling, a best friend, um, a grandparent, you know, someone that they would confide in and get advice. It's okay to let go. because they're feeling so much love. The love emanating from their divine feminine. The love emanating from their divine feminine. You're sending the love, you guys are, you're, you're together in the ethers in the 5D, right? You guys are sending, there's these waves, strong waves of love, pure love frequency, right? That is emanating. It's like, um, I don't know, you guys know like underwater, like the sonar or whatever, you know, it's like it sends out like beep, 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 but you can see like the sound like in circles and it like goes out, 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 right? I think that's what it is, right? Sonar, I don't know, I could be totally wrong. Um, but it's it's like that. It's, it's like the waves going out, beep, 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 beep. And it's like a ripple effect, you know, one circle, bigger circle, bigger circle, and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So your, your love, the love that you're embodying for yourself, um, for others, just the love that you're putting out, the masculine energies are really feeling it. And it's actually really helping them to release this control. Why would I be feeling this love if it wasn't real? Why would I be getting all these unreal, unexplainable types of signs and synchronicities constantly about the Queen of Cups? 
I love both of these queens, but this is very clear. Okay, the material and the material. This is about what they have been entertaining, what they've been stuck in, um, and where they don't want to give uh, anymore. For some of them, it's like overdone, dead, right? But for some of them, they are just really, they're getting into this mode of releasing the control. For some of these masculines, they feel taken advantage of. Okay, like, I don't know. Maybe it's, it's feeling taken advantage of. This is someone who is desiring their equal. The world card was after the Queen of Cups. Right now, in the masculine's heart, the Queen of Cups, the love that they feel, this unconditional loving energy, it is their whole entire world. They are also very much watching online the world wide web on the internet there's a lot of that happening it's been happening so i'm sure you guys are seeing it in other readers messages too but like the spy game is strong right now you know and i hate like saying spy but it is it's like they're spying and if like let's say you're like well i don't have social media or i all my pages are private it doesn't matter then they're energetically spying they're thinking of you constantly they're listening they're like maybe rereading old messages texts they're very much like in that that vibe They want a whole, this is a cycle completing here. It's the universe is stepping in here with the world card and saying that what they're releasing is, the control they're releasing is meant to fuel a new cycle here between you guys. Let's clarify the world and the queen of cups really quickly. I'm also getting worlds apart. Like they, they feel so close to you um energetically but like physically it's like they feel the worlds apart the distance and for me it's like it's it's a it's a feeling of it's killing them because they also feel like you're moving worlds apart like you're flying high the high priestess they can feel for for a lot of the feminines out there and this is going to be the feminines out there who have released control themselves over physical union. Um, if you're still, you know, really in the mode of, you know, I want physical union. When's it going to happen? This, that, and the other. And you haven't truly surrendered up that expectation or outcome and just, just focus like on your journey and self. Um, this part is probably not for you. Because the masculine energy that I'm picking up on, they can feel the divine feminine's surrender. They can feel it. And this is also like, for me, it's about like the higher self embodiment, like flying through the ethers. And, you know, they, they feel you so strongly there. Okay. They, all the things, right. But. It's also, um, with the high priestess energy, it's also for me, like a great mystery, like the feminine gives off this very, even though the, the feminine is a very open, receptive, like energy or like an open book. Okay. We'll say that like the feminine is an open book, right? She's going to be authentic. He or she, they're going to be authentic. They're going to be, you know, they're going to, they're going to speak their truth. They're going to do it in a loving way. There's a lot of love that comes through your throat chakra, through your, your thoughts, through everything, right? Um, but to the masculine, you are a mystery. There's a lot, right, of unanswered questions. There's a lot of things left unsaid. They don't know how you, you know, what's going on in your life truly. They don't know, you know, who you're talking to, what's going on, if you're dating. They don't truly know. Because also the feminines, you know, I think for most of you guys out there, if you are dating around or if you're seeing someone or something like that, I don't feel, I mean, maybe this isn't gonna be for everyone, but I feel that the feminines, they have moved beyond, and there's nothing wrong with posting photos of like you and someone that you're 
with or dating or in love with or whatever, right? I'm not saying this, but what I'm saying is I think a lot of the feminines, they are more on like a private level with their life. They don't care to broadcast things to the world. They don't care to get the likes. They don't care. Look at me, look at me, look at us, look at us. Um, and I think the masculines, they know that about the feminines. So, or they pick up on that. So I do feel that they're like, okay, what's really going on? Because I know my feminine is a very, you know, evolved soul evolved energy like they're more mature i don't see my feminine posting a bunch of like you know photos of do you know what i mean not unless it was like something like you know i don't know whatever you guys kind of get what i mean it, for whatever reason i'm kind of like getting it's like freaking them out okay if they don't know what's going on you're this mystery I'm also getting with the world card and the high priestess that there is obviously something completing here. There's a cycle closing out. Okay, but what, what I'm kind of getting is like whatever is going on, the release of control, the stuff that's going on on their end, like it is meant to bring about a new cycle that reveals a lot it reveals everything okay we'll say that <clears throat> all right so what else what else from the divine masculine tell me about the six of pentacles and the queen of pentacles ascending from the 3d restraints and and mentality and you know conditioning releasing control around the material realm aligning more to right like the law of attraction and you know that kind of stuff six of pentacles and queen of pentacles nine of cups typically a card of wishes fulfilled this is someone who wants to go after their wish fulfillment what they feel and no, on a soul level is their wish fulfillment. Some of them could be drinking a lot, just trying to kind of like distract themselves, numb themselves, like with kind of maybe what's been going on or is going on. But I feel more than anything, this is someone who's like, it's kind of giving me like a selfish energy, but it's not selfish. It Selfish would be, so let's say they are... Let's say they're in a third party, a karmic situation, okay? The actions and the, th the things that they're saying or the truths that they're speaking or whatever's going on, it's coming from an authentic place for the masculine, but to the other person or other people, it's going to come off as you're selfish, you're just thinking about yourself, like, you know, the da 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 right? If it's like a karmic family member or karmic family that they have to pull away from or cut off, you know, then that could be family members saying that to them. Like we're family, you know, we're blood, blood is thicker than water. Like you can't just like, you know, you can't just pull away from family. You can't just, you know, ghost family or whatever it is. Right. Okay. But it, it's giving off like, you know, people pointing fingers at them of you're selfish or all you do is think about yourself or blah, 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 blah. Okay. So you know, and kind of what I'm getting is like a bit of like a boastful energy here of him like arrogant almost kind of going, yeah, well, I don't care. Okay. Cheers to that. All right. I don't care. I don't care. I've cared too much. I've cared too long. I've always cared what people think, or, you know, I'm releasing all that control. I'm releasing the control of what others opinions and expectations want for my life. See death card. I'm putting an end to it. Bottom of the deck death and rebirth transformation the the masculines yeah going they're they're embracing their transformation okay um eight of wands it's like the energy is like picking up here okay it is passionate communication all these things but more than i don't really feel that I feel more than anything right now, this is about things picking up speed on their end in their life. 
like things starting to move where maybe things weren't moving for a while. You know, maybe they've just been like, whatever. You know, we've all been going through like, you know, death cycles, rebirth cycles, but we've all been like kind of swimming through a void. We've all been kind of like, you know, reconnecting to our shadow, cocooning, going back into isolation, hermit mode, you know, stuff like that. That can be very difficult to do if you are in some type of karmic partnership. And I think that's adding to this agitation. There's this soul, this deep inner knowing of like, I just need to be by myself. Like, I just need to be able to, you know, you know, just gather my scruples here. For some of them, maybe they've been doing that and this is where they're coming out of. Maybe there is some kind of passionate communication moving towards you. Okay, I do think that there's going to be a lot of communication for sure. I think that they're going to be communicating. But I think more than anything, this is a message of letting you know, like, or letting the collective know of like, this is what I'm going through. This is kind of what's going on. This is where I'm at. Okay. There's also a very strong like energy coming through right now, like a message of the masculine can feel, and I've, ch we've channeled this before. It's been coming up. The masculine can feel an intense, intense soulmate connection, soulmate energy moving towards you. They can feel that. There's not an intense soulmate connection moving towards the masculine. Okay. They are in a completely different like vibe in that way. You're in this like high vibration empress receiving mode. Very, very, very magnetic, right? They can feel someone approaching you, coming in. It's like this person's already in your auric field, energy field, whatever you want to say. It's freaking them out. It's freaking them out. It's, it's, they can just feel it. That if they don't move or transform, change, stop giving, whatever it is, end things, that they are going to, and I've channeled this before, right? That they're going to really miss the boat truly because you're going to be wifed up. You're going to be, someone's going to come in and swoop you up and it's going to be someone who is a divine match for you. It's freaking them out. That actually ties kind of into the message that I'm, I'm going to be recording another message about, like I said earlier, a dream that I had. All right, so they're getting. I mean, look at the look at the how how strongly is Archangel Gabriel here. This is they're hearing the call of resurrection. They're using that third eye and seeing like future timelines, and it's just like I want victory in my life. I want balance. I want happiness. I can't see my life playing out like this for another year, two years, five years, ten years. I can't. Okay, they're making judgment calls because they're also receiving the call from the divine. They're also getting all of these, you know, signs and synchronicities, these messages. <clears throat> and it's making them feel very out in the cold. Like they, they don't want to... They see that they put themselves here, okay? And they don't wanna be out here anymore. They wanna be here, three of cups. And here, ace of wands, okay? But, you know, they, they've got, you know, for a lot of them, they've got work to do. Let's just clarify using really quickly the rider weight, where are we at, 20 minutes, all right. So I wanna see the death card and the nine of cups and the eight of wands. Because like I said, this for me is like about the changes, the transformation, the endings, um, and them kind of with the nine of cups, I'm getting that like, I choose me type energy. Like I'd rather be single <laughs> than with, you know, in something or dating or with someone or whatever, you know, and unhappy. They're releasing control. And again, it's like the universe is telling them communicating the angels are going it's okay to let go you gotta let go it's time to let go okay but eight of swords hang on 
Hangman. Seeing things in a whole new, they're seeing new perspective, new light. Where they've been stuck in a mental prison, they're, they're seeing ways out of things. They're seeing new perspectives. They're seeing new pathways, new possibilities. They're also seeing how they've kept themselves stuck in maybe, you know, what feels like a, you know, like a, a prison in their life or, but also in the, in the mind. They're releasing control. You know, when you're up in the head like this, it's because you're not, you're, you're trying to control and you're overthinking and you're, you know what I mean? You're not trusting. Getting themselves unstuck, untying themselves from, from the post. See the leaves? There's been growth. There's been growth. There's something here about I'm I I I'm growing. I've 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 grown. I'm ready for more growth in my life. Okay. There's also a lot of like very sexual, vivid dreams about the feminine right now. Um, meeting up in the astral. That's something that's been a lot like, coming through a lot too. <clears throat> the king of swords. This is someone who don't play. He doesn't play. He's the king of action. He's the king of truth and justice, balance. The wise king. Head over heart, you know. He's the warrior king, right? So it's like, I see what I got to do. I, I see how I've been, you know, keeping myself stuck. I'm releasing control of fear of these thoughts of whatever else. I'm standing in my power. I'm wielding my sword. I'm, I'm getting back on my throne or I'm back on my throne. And I'm releasing control. This was right after him. I'm releasing control. And I've never let go of the feminine. Every night when I go to sleep, I pray to, to see the divine feminine or to, you know, be able to connect with the divine feminine. They're very aware of the astral connection. Very aware. And I think a lot of the masculines, they are actually doing exactly what I just got done saying, where they are setting the intention at night to see you in the dream state. See? emperor right after that yeah it's what the emperor is praying for it's what the emperor wants and then justice card seeking balance wanting justice in their life okay um all right so let me just see really quickly show me the show me the emperor before we go so i hope this connects and finds who it needs to. I trust that it will. I thank you guys for every like, every share, every new subscriber, and even those of you guys who have been with me, I appreciate you. Um, if you guys want to book your own personal uh, reading with me, you can find information in the description box below. I offer several different um, reading options, and I just um, lowered pricing a little bit, so you guys can check that out. Um, and also, Lemurian crystal pendants if you're interested in purchasing one um you can they are on pre-order now i did these about a year and a half ago they are Lemurian seed clear quartz crystal pendants with copper wire wrapping handmade um i they're activators they are wisdom keepers code keepers obviously very connected to lemuria so those of you guys my Lemurian atlantean family out there even if not and you know you're just drawn to it um, they are charged under the moon. They are activated, um, more activated, I want to say, and cleansed under the sun with light codes. Um, they're infused with sound healing, and I also activate them with light language. Um, so I just tap into the crystal, the energy of the crystal and the person who it's going to be going to, and I just channel what needs to come in and infuse what needs to come in. Um, any type of healing or activating or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, so they are very beautiful, very powerful. 
If you're interested in um, purchasing one, you can find the information down below in the description box. They will probably be going out around the third week of May. I mean, May, March <laughs> of March. Okay. Um, so anyways, all right. And then for some reason, I'm like, I, don't know, I look down and I see the Ace of Swords. Okay. So there is the... Uh, There is a very dire need here for the masculine, the emperor, to want to speak truth to to the feminine. But also, I think that that it's it's about them creating endings and having victory in their life. At least strategizing it, planning it, whatever it is. Okay, if your person's not in a third party then it's just about them putting an end to their old ways and having victory over things that have maybe had a hold on them. Let's say they're, they're a big drinker, right? Like, let's just say like, you know, they, they drink, you know, whiskey every single night, which, you know, I, I don't judge no, nobody. Okay. So don't, but what I mean is like for them in their inner knowing or what they feel their truth is, they feel maybe it's a problem. They feel like, I don't want to drink this much. Why do I drink this much? Well, I'm unhappy or this, that, or the other, or, you know, this is just, what my, my dad does and my, you know, like my family does, or this is what I'm used to, you know, whatever it is, it's about breaking the cycles, breaking the patterns, breaking the curses of the generational stuff. Um, and this is just one example, right? So if, like I said, if your person's on a third party, but it's, um, they're seeing it in a huge way. Like the Ace of Swords that we saw a moment ago, I didn't take it. It's Archangel Michael energy. It's an empowerment type energy. It's um, a divine truth energy. Um, and for the masculine right now, I feel that, you know, because it's it's healing. So I feel that for the masculines right now, they are their higher self, you know, and like they're just, they, they just know like, I need to authentically align myself again. I need to authentically align my life. I need to speak truth in my life. I need to be honest with myself in my life. I need to be honest with people around me in my life, you know? Um, and I feel all that honesty. They just know it's a very healing energy um, for them and their life and, and for where they want to go and to connect with you again. Like they have to do this to have this breakthrough moment, this victory, and then the truth, all the truth, all the truth that has been, that they've been deceiving themselves with, wearing masks with, right? Like even karmic partnerships, right? Like they haven't been truly speaking their truth. I'm getting truth serum. There's something here around this time where, and I think again, it's like astrological transits, full moon, Mercury's doing something. It's the, it's the truth serum, okay? It, it just brings out truth. Like things just blurt out, <laughs> I guess. Okay, so reunited and it feels so good. Okay, this this is what they're looking back on right now. How they've, again, more truth. They're seeing the truth of their actions of, you know, they're reflecting on things and it's bringing more things to light for them where it's like, wow, okay, so I'm seeing how my actions in the past hurt people, hurt my feminine, whatever, you know, um, that's what I'm reflecting on. And this right here is what I'm desiring. Okay. But also what I feel is them too, knowing that they have to claim false victory in their life in order to have this too. Nobody wants to hurt people, right? Like if you go through like an ending, a breakup, like you don't want to hurt someone. Like, you know, like, That sucks. And I feel like that's kind of what they're, you know, thinking about right now, you know, but again, it's, they're, they're seeing the ways out. We'll just say that. Okay. So, um, so this is what I have for you, my loves. I hope that this connects fine to it needs to, um, you know, uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you guys. And, um, I just, I love you guys so much. So thank you for all of your love and support. I appreciate you. Um, and, uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and get, I want to get like an Oracle. Let's see. Do, do, do. Let's get, um, another thing you guys, my loves, um, I am doing 
my eighth Pleiade, it's a Pleiadian and Jesus activation workshop that is going to be held on the 3-3 portal, which is a Sunday. It's the one year anniversary um, of the very first workshop I ever did, which was last year on the 3-3 portal. So it's going to be very powerful. It's also, it's funny because it was supposed to be done in February, but I've been just very sick, very down. So I had to postpone it. Um, but, uh, there's, everything is for a reason, like during, like throughout February, I've had a lot of, um, connection with the Pleiadians, um, very specific, um, like, what do you want to say? Like kind of transcendent experiences. Um, and I'm going to be channeling this out and like, it's like a healing kind of, light technology that the Pleiadians actually did to me. Like I could see my body like kind of just like floating and, um, and they were, uh, they were showing me everything I needed to see and know, and they were sharing it with me. Um, so we're going to be incorporating that into the activation. Those of you guys who have been to them before, it's very beautiful. It's powerful. It's a fun time. You know, there's always a um, channeled guided meditation from whoever we're working with. In this case, it's going to be Jesus guiding us through a meditation, but then the Pleiadians are going to come in and we're going to do a lot of the, the light healing and energy healing through, um, through, well, through, it, they showed me like the spine energy and stuff like that. Um, so you guys will be tapping into your um, third eyes and your inner visions and creating that as well as we all join together in circle. Um, anyways, but activating, just helping, this is going to be helping a lot of, um, uh, with Jesus, it's helping a lot of the 3d matrix conditioning be released. Like that's already occurring on a natural level with the Ascension, but this is just like kind of supercharged. Okay. Um, obviously always in the meditations and throughout the healings, I will channel whatever comes through from who we're working with. And then I channel light language, um, for, you know, it's quantum healing. Um, it's on zoom, so it is recorded. So if you can't make the live on the three, three portal, totally cool. You get the recorded version just as powerful because it's on a quantum level. Um, anyways, tickets are only $44 USD. You can find all the information and a whole thing that I've written out about, like more about in detail, the, the workshop and the activations, things like that. Right. Um, you can find it all in the description box below. So I'm really excited. You know, I was really bummed out in February. I'm just like, man, this sucks. But then it was like, oh my gosh, the three, three portal. And then I happened to look it up and it was, it's on a Sunday. It's just like so perfect. And I, and it's the one year anniversary, like I said, so it's going to be a blast. And then also I was called to work with Jesus. Like this was like, I don't know, like a month and a half ago in the making since I, you know, like started talking about the workshop, but it obviously didn't happen in February, but Jesus, he was 33, right? When he, with, when he finally, in his final ascension, um, so I just think it's beautiful. I think it's, it's, it's a master, you know, Ascension number. It's a master number. It's just, yeah. So anyways, if you're interested, if you want to be a part of it, we would love, love, love to have you guys. And you can find the information in the description box below. A lot of stuff happening, a lot of stuff going on. All right. All of us light workers and new earth leaders, you know, we are, I mean, this is why I'm, I'm bringing back the Lemurian pendants. This is why you know, um, the workshops started, you know, um, and there's going to be more, more to come. We're expanding time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. This is the control for some feminines. That's a message too. You might be trying too hard to call in someone or you might be pulling on this person a lot, okay? It might be like, just trust, just, you know, kind of relax, chill. But, you know, I was saying earlier, it, it's time, it's time. What wasn't I saying that? Like for the masculine? I feel like this is them going, I've, I'm tired of trying so hard. I've given it time. Okay, look at all the green in the hearts. My heart chakra is now activated. I'm connecting in a different way. I don't want to give it time anymore. <laughs> 
sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. I told you guys, the sexual union stuff is strong right now. And it is literally the 5D like coming down, I want to say fairly quickly into, it's like the 3D. So what's happening in the astral realms is going to be happening and being, it's like these two magnets being pulled together, feminine and masculine. But especially, like I said, with the Queen of Cups, it's like that love frequency going out and the masculine is kind of like what I'm seeing. <laughs> what I'm seeing is like, oh, uh, like Frankenstein or like a zombie, just like, oh, uh, like being just called to the feminine. Okay. But you know, I'm obviously joking, but this also gives me like that, like massive, like Kundalini activations taking place too. A lot of sacred sexual energy here. They're they're feeling this this the soul sexual energy, not just the physical. It's like it's 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 like unexplainable. That's why I can't even find the words. It is true bliss. Okay, so we have the white dove showing up. Just speaking of Jesus, this is often connected with Jesus. He's shown, right? Okay, but it's about, for me, it's about following the voice of the soul, okay? So you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Okay, so I love this. This is beautiful. Um, I haven't recorded a 40 something minute message in a while. Um, let's just get a message before we go from the Divine Masculine. Boom. My new states of consciousness has me seeing my life expansively. Exactly. My new states of consciousness. I freaking love that. You're going to see a whole different side of this person for sure. I mean, I know you guys know that. Like, and they're going to see this other version of you. I mean, you have evolved tremendously as well. But there, you're going to see. You're going to see. Okay. Bottom of the deck, I am manifesting my awoken, we'll say I'm manifesting my enlightened future. And you are with me in these timelines. I hope you're open to me still. Didn't I say too that they're using that third eye and manifesting the timelines, they're seeing the future and they're doing all the things, right? So big time confirmation there too. And then you bring up so emotion, so much emotion within me. I can't help but feel it. Okay. So, you know, again, deep, deep love, deep feelings, deep emotion here. This love is helping and self-love is helping for them to fuel the fire of releasing that control. Just let it go. It's okay. Let it go. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys at this time. I love you guys so much. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you soon. Bye.